Welcome back to more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, everybody. I'm gonna say no to this thing here. And, um, yeah, so in this episode, we made it to this route right after, uh, Pastoria City. We're basically just going around in one full circle that's eventually gonna take us back to Hard Home City. Uh, but we're not doing the gym battles yet. We are gonna be doing those quite soon, though, so... That'll come, that'll come shortly. Anyway, in between episodes, I went ahead and put Magneton at the top. I was gonna keep... Psyduck, but then I realized stupid Cloud9 is actually removing the effect of water, I believe. Let me actually Google this right now. I'm gonna put Cloud9 Bulbapedia, alright? Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes up while I'm doing this battle. Yeah, it just has negates what? Okay, so... Uh, another Thunderbolt for you? Yes, perfect, perfect. Thunderbolt, okay. So... When a Pokemon Cloud9 is in battle, all effects of weather are negated, though the weather itself does not disappear. Oh, I'm learning. Okay. In Gen 5, um, it said, when a Pokemon Cloud9 is brought out, the message the effects of weather disappear will be displayed. During extremely harsh sunlight, heavy rain, and strong winds, even if Pokemon is negating the effects of weather with Cloud9. Um, wait, hold on, before I keep reading that, let me, uh, I know, I love you on a cliffhanger, you know? Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna cut all these things down so we don't have to go through the grass. Nobody's got time for grass. There we go. Okay, as I was saying, the move Sunny Day, Rain Dance, and Sandstorm and Hail will still fail if used, and the abilities Drought, Drizzle, Sandstream, and so will still fail if to, to activate. However, all their effects of these weather conditions are negated by Cloud Nine. What? Okay, so I get it now, so basically, yeah, um, it's not buffing up the power of water moves if Cloud9 is, you know, on the field, which is fine. Um, I think that would also make Thunder actually go back to its original accuracy of 70, as opposed to never missing in rain. Alright, well, that was actually really easy, only a, only a Psyduck, that was it. Hmm. Zinc. Bottle of Zinc. Another Parasol Lady, huh? Okay. Let's just keep doing this. You are challenged by Parasol Lady, Alexa. Bliss. Oh my god, I don't know if any of you know that. What the hell, what the hell are you even talking about? Alright, that's Thunderbolt time. This will... I wonder if this will one-shot. Oh man, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. Magneton is so strong. That's crazy. Buizel! Alright, Buizel, take a Thunderbolt. Oh man, quick attack. It didn't, want to, it didn't even do Aqua Jet. What the hell? That would have at least been stabbed. Well, that would have been neutral stab and there's rain. That would have done like, you know... Instead of one damage, like a whopping seven or eight damage. That would have been crazy damage they were going to do to me. Alright. Is this a rain woman? Is that what you said? It's so weird. Okay, shards wanted. Okay, this is where you can actually get uh, TMs in exchange for a number of shards. But you need like a lot. Or whatever. But yeah, ten of the same color. You get a TM of that color. So like... I think it's the weather TMs, like, if you give 10 red, you get, like, sunny day, you know, like, it's equivalent to fire, you know, which is, like, red, orangish. Okay, so, here we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, there's an item over there. Oh, it's right there. I saw it. Revive. Oh, there's one, there's one. Okay. Great ball. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Shit.
Oh. <laughs> Stupid mud. Hard scale. Got a hard scale. Okay. And there's you. Are you a trainer? You're actually not. Okay, that's... Alright, whatever. I think we got them all then. Seems like it, yeah. Let's just go over to the left. Make our way through. There we go. Okay. Uh, no. Perfect timing. Wow, alright. We're gonna... Come talk to this fisherman guy right here. Sure. So this is actually a perfect tie matchup. Normally Gyarados is a pretty annoying one to deal with unless you're using electric or rock, I guess. But I mean, rock is weak against his water side, so, you know. Electric is obviously the best choice. Here we go. Super easy. Only one Gyarados. That was, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Psyduck is evolving. Whoa. One thing I haven't talked about is, like, the little chimes when Pokemon are evolving. <laughs> you know? I don't know, it's kind of funny. It, it sounds cool. A little majestic, you know? Well, there we go. So we got a Golduck. That's gonna be, uh, much better stats now, which is awesome. So it should be pretty straightforward from here, but I mean, in this video, we're definitely gonna... We should be able to make it all the way back to Hard Home City. Like, I feel like we are going to be able to do it. Barbuch? Wait, is Barbuch part ground, or is that only its evolution? I think it's actually already part ground. I'm just gonna do tree attack. I'm pretty sure it is water ground. Sometimes I forget these things with, like, you know, evolutionary lines and stuff. You know, for a while, you know, this was like back when Ruby and Sapphire Fire first came out. I really thought Mudkip was also part ground, but no, he doesn't get his ground status until he's Marsh Tom. You know? Oh, another Barbo. Okay, time for more tree attacks then. Wait, level 17? Why are these levels lower? You can't go here from Hardhome Home City. These, these levels, these trainers have to be fought after the route going to Pastoria City. So, like, why are these such low level? I mean, I guess it's because you have four Pokemon, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's that. That's two down, and... Okay, Shellos. Shellos, I believe, is pure... Yeah, you are. Um, you'll lose to Thunderbolt, that's fine. Alright, simple enough. And who's last? Oh, double level up, nice. By the way, Ponyta doesn't level up, or sorry, doesn't evolve into a Rapidash until like almost level 40, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's true. But yes, I, I was right, by the way, with Barboach, um, it was actually hard ground. We can tell now, after you fight a Pokemon once, starting in the next battle, 
um, the game will indicate to you the type matchup effectiveness. Alright, another one down. Time to move on. This guy. There's so many trainers in these routes, but we gotta clear him out. Geodude. Alright. Um, that's gonna be a problem. Actually, what's funny is that tree attack is still gonna do a lot of damage to this Geodude. Like, a lot of damage. You'll see. Oh, you will see. <laughs> What's funny is that Gyro Ball, a super effective move, would, pro would probably not kill that thing. It probably wouldn't. Why does this guy have Geo, dude? That is so strange to me. Like, so weird. Okay, and there's another Geo, dude down. Who's next? Oh, great. Three Geo, dude. Okay, so I'm already running out of tree attack PP. I'm down to three. There's not a whole lot more I can do with Magneton here. There are not too many more battles, you know? And that's it. Collector Dominique has been defeated. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be a trainer, but no, it's just for items and stuff. Bug Bug, ooh, that's a really good move. That is a really good move. It's a base power 90 special attack for bug Pokemon with 100 accuracy. It's like the psychic or the ice beam, you know, of bugs. Pretty cool. Also, what the hell? Wait. Do I, would I want to go like around or something? I guess so. I don't know where that's going to take me, but let's go check it out. This one's gonna lead to, I think it's an item? Yeah, Tiny Mushroom. There's an item down there, but that one can only be accessed via Surf. So I can't do much about that. And there's also not a whole lot more I can do. Yeah, I can walk around that way. This side does lead back that way, so I can just do like that, I guess. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and put a Repel on. We have only two left, so like, whatever. Okay. Yeah, those guys will only fight you at night, I believe. And this just goes back around. Alright. Damn soil, the hell. Scientist Stefano. Kadabra. Alright. Kadabra's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and use a Thunderbolt here. I'm telling you, Magneton is my best Pokemon here in my party. Like, seriously. Plus 365. That's pretty good, but only one Pokemon. Oh, man. I like when, when our trainers have Pokemon with high base experience values, but like multiples of that Pokemon. Because it's so juicy how much experience you get, you know? Okay. I'm gonna uh, just explore here to see. Apparently nothing. That's very strange. Whoa, we got a double battle here, huh? Oh, these are Pokemon Rangers. Okay. I see. Prinplup and Apom. Here's my Golduck. Here is my Golduck. Okay, we're going to do Thunderbolt on the Prinplup, and then we're going to use a Water Pulse on the Apom. Sure. Awesome. Golduck's going to get uh, more powerful soonish after we take care of these three gyms back to back to back. Uh, being able to learn Surf finally, that would be amazing. Once that can happen.
Alright, Primplup is down. Now we got a Meryl. That is a Water Fairy. For back in the day, pure water. And another Primplup. Okay. We're gonna just go with the same thing here. Well, not, not that. We're gonna do a Psychic. On the Meryl. Meryl's a bit tanky. Well, mostly a zoo Meryl, I should say. Pretty defensive oriented. Thunderbolt. Okay. And that's it. The Pokemon Rangers have been defeated. Alright, um, so I came in from that side, and just to make sure there's nothing else over here, right? No, I don't believe so. Alright, we'll keep going. I believe this is a new route. Trainer tips. Yes, I know about that. Here's an item up to an elixir. All these giant grassy areas, like, I know there's a lot of places in this game that actually have, you know, like, hidden items, which is why I keep doing that, in case you're wondering. What the hell's the fact we're off? Okay, that's nobody there. And then here's a tree that we can cut. TM11, sunny day. Alright. That's pretty good. And then this is only going to go back around. I believe there is nothing. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that there's actually nothing. Okay. There's this guy, who only faces you during the night. And this guy too. There's an item over there to the left that can only be obtained via Surf. Double battle, I was waiting for them to do that. Here we go. Chatot and Roselia, okay. That's interesting. Chatot's a cute Pokemon. I would say definitely cute. Chatot, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a... We'll do a Psychic, I guess, on the Roselia. Either Psychic or Ice Beam, they both work. There we go. Roselia down. And Staravia. Oh, I haven't used Staravia in so long, it feels. I really should. Thunderbolt. There we go. Okay. And so with that- oh, wow. Now I really should use Staravia. Huh? All my Pokemon are finally evolved. So Torterra's fully evolved. Now Staraptor's fully evolved. Goldex fully evolved. Ponyta not yet. And then Magneton still has one more evolution. But I have to go to Mount Coronet and level up the Magneton in Mount Coronet. Okay, you're going to learn close combat, I believe. Yep, there we go. Close combat is a fighting type move. Uh, we're going to replace... You know what? I think it's time to replace this thing. Aerial Ace. I'm going to use Pluck. There we go. Close combat. Oh, hell yeah. That move is so fantastic. 120 base power, 100 accuracy fighting type move. But the downside is that your defense and special defense both fall one stage. Which is not a, like a crazy downfall, like it's really not, you know? Okay, and here we got these flower fields, there's not really going to be anything in there. And up here. Um... I think it's time for Ponyta. Ponyta's still, you know, a little behind. And um... I believe Magneton has a little bit left in him. Okay. Well, there's a police officer, that, another double battle here. That's why I actually put my two in the front, because I knew there was a double battle coming. If I remember correctly, the guy has a Luxio. I think. Yep. I knew it. I remember these people because these were the people that I would, like, grind money off of. 
Are these guys are the two old individuals to the left side as well? Like, yep. They're, they were the richest, some of the richest people. Okay, we're gonna do, um, I guess a flame mill on the Baneri. Wait, wait, actually that's stupid. No, you know what? That's fine. I don't care. We'll do that. These are, um, relatively low levels anyway, so. You actually start- Okay, at least the burn's gonna kill you. This is exactly why Ponyta needs to evolve. Because Ponyta needs some higher stats. Like, seriously. I think by this point I can just, uh, yep, go inside. Let me talk to you. What do you have to say? The trophy garden. Yeah, this is one of the few places where you could catch, like, Pikachu, I remember. <laughs> you know? In the original Diamond and Pearl. But other than that, there's not really anything in here. It's just a grassy area full of, you know, potential Pokemon you can capture and that's it. That's all it is. So, let's go to the right and check out these rooms one by one. Okay, start with this one. Oh, really? Hmm. TM87 Swagger. Oh, you can actually go here. And then the officer is like, no, 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 you can't do that. Get the hell out of there. Like, okay. Okay, that's all off limits. So I, at least I got swagger from this. I think that's actually all we're going to get. I don't think there's anything else in here. Unless there's an incense item. There might be an incense item in here. I think that sounds familiar too. No, it's a suit's bell instead. Yeah, the suit bell makes, um, you know, Pokemon grow faster. The, the, um, the friendship, I mean, the happiness. A great ball. Alright, that's it for this place. We are done. We are done, done, done. So with that, we can keep going up north, and we are actually incredibly close to Hardhome City. In fact, there might not be any more trainers on the way. There's another officer that only fights you during the night. Hmm. And then let me just make sure here. There's definitely nothing. Lucky trees. Yep, and that's it. Let's do this back around. So this officially means that we are done, uh, the whole wraparound thing happened, you know? I think we already talked to these people, probably. Okay, so now it's time to take on the gyms. We have to go back to Veilstone City and take on, uh, Maylene in there. We also... Hold on, let me see here. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, well, what am I doing? Okay, I should just put on the bike now. I may need to use some repels though to get through the grass more than likely. We'll see. Well, that's if there's grass. There actually might not be grass. Oh, god damn it. Go, go, go. Solosian Town, hello. Bye bye. <laughs> We're just making our way through. That's what's nice when you defeat every single damn trainer out there, you know? You can just breeze through really easily for the most part. And here, uh, it makes sense to go to the right. So I can cut this down. And then... Here we go, like this. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. No, I'm gonna get into encounter here probably. What? Oh, I actually didn't. Whoa. I like that. 
Don't you dare fall. No! I almost fell. I actually almost fell into the stupid grass. And we made it. We made it. Wow. That was really fast. So now that we're in Bellstone City, it is officially time to take on the gym, which I believe is right over here, all the way around. Damn it, I crashed. Alright, so this gym, uh, I think there's like four trainers here, and it's these four Karate Man guys. And then you basically have to just make pathways, um, which is not too much of a problem. People here are gonna, are gonna have a lot of Machop, Machoke, uh, maybe Riolu? I don't know. Ponyta might not be the best one here. I'm gonna have to use Star Staraptor. What level is 26? Yeah, that's kind of... Oh, man. This is only gonna do half. Maybe not even half. No, not even half. That's... Shit. You knocked off my amulet coin, you little... God damn it. Actually, there's a very good chance Ponyta could die here. Whoa, that was close. What the hell was that do? Speed fell? No way. Are you really gonna kill me? Okay, I still have Spedge. I was gonna say, my joke is kinda slowish from what I remember, you know? That's it. Meditite. Um, we gotta switch Pokemon already. This is so sad, but we gotta do it. Oh, by the way, um... I forgot about this, but Goldeck is actually holding the incense that boosts the power of Psychic type moves. So Psychic is actually doing more damage than Ice Beam on opponents where it's neutral. I forgot about that. Detect. Hmm. Well, that's a big waste of time. Pluck. There we go. Did it. Okay, and then... Next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and change to... I'm just gonna put you in the front. It's fine. Ponyta's just not ready yet, you know? He gotta evolve, but the thing is, it, doesn't, it might not be until level 40, though. Which is crazy. Black Belt Colby. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying? Lots of Machokes. Yeah, Meditites as well, that's another thing. Lots of Meditites. Um... Normally, fighting games have a lot of main keys and stuff, but main key is not actually an original from Diamond and Pearl, like the original decks from there. So, main key doesn't exist in the Diamond and Pearl Poke, Poke decks until after the National decks. Gold Duck, level 34, nice. Alright. Let's keep doing Pluck. Pluck will be enough damage for sure. So I don't know what the strongest flying time move is going to be that Staraptor learns naturally. Because Brave Bird is very good, but I believe it's only learned through like a move tutor or something. I'm pretty sure. Three Machos. Wow. And then like Drill Peck is not a thing for Staraptor. That's for other Pokemon like Fero, I know. So I'm not totally sure. Now Torterra getting the level up. Nice. Okay, so that's two down. I guess we can just push that one through like that, right? I'm thinking this one's gotta... Like, we just gotta push these. Kinda like as we see them, you know? Um, so like this one we gotta push like that, I think. We gotta push that. Um, this one's gonna go like... Oh, shoot. We'll figure this out. It's fine. It's all good. Black Belt Raphael. Okay, 
Alright, so you're just gonna keep plucking all these. How many Pokemon do you have? Is it two or three? It's one? Okay, I'll take that. Sure. That makes things very simple. We just keep going through here. Alright, so yeah, we're pushing that one so we can make it through here. Then we can push that one to the left. And then we can go through again. Then we can push that one. Wait, what? No? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the... God damn it. It looked... That looked weird. Okay. Can we go... Stop getting stuck on shit. That does happen a lot in this generation. You can easily get... Like, the character doesn't slide through things. Easily, you know? All the way like this, and then we can push that one through. Nice. Oh, I can't go that way. Whoops. Alright, so now we gotta take on the left side. Let's, let's beat the guy first. Black Bell to Darren. He's got three Pokemon, lots of Machokes. Machokes at least give decent experience, so it's good that we're grinding out for these things, you know? Pretty nice, pretty nice for sure. Alright, there's a pluck. In the Star after will be strong enough to take care of all these in one shot, I'm assuming. 35. You officially reached 100 attacks, Staraptor. That is fantastic. I think Staraptor is now my strongest Pokemon offensively. A little more than Magneton. But that's because Magneton hasn't fully evolved yet. We'll actually see um, right now when we defeat this Machop. Magneton, Magneton's about to gain a level up here. So we'll be able to tell quite easily, actually. Alright, let's see. Whoa! Actually, technically Magneton is stronger. Yes! You got the Flash Cannon. Get rid of that stupid Jarbo. So Flash Cannon is a base 80 power move, 100 accuracy. Um, it's really awesome. It's awesome. And with that, Magneton basically has the end game move pool. Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Thunder Wave, and Tree Attack. That's It can't get any better than that. We're gonna check summary here. Yeah, look at that. A hundred. And you're one level lower. So technically Magneton is actually stronger. Because you would be like 103-ish around there, you know? Do that. That's fine. I think for you we're gonna put close combat there. That's fine. That's okay too, actually. This one we're gonna put Ice Beam there. We're good. Okay. Alright, so let's see what I need to do here. Uh, we need to... Well, we can push that one there. But I can't push anything else, so we're gonna have to do... I gotta push that one like that. And then like that. I think that's it. Let me just push it back. Yeah, that's it. Wow, okay. Well, that was uh, really simple for a gym puzzle. And here we got Maylene. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene. I'm a gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. What? But I'll do my best. Oh, okay. I don't know what the hell that means, but... You know, there's always that, like, lack of confidence gym leader, you know, like Maylene, like Flannery from, you know, Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know. I kind of got that impression from Jasmine from uh, Johto as well. Not really sure why, but just, I don't know. And there's, like, super, like, you know, big ego cocky gym leaders, like Claire is the big one, you know. There's always people like that. Alright, so yeah, this gym... I always thought that this gym leader was actually pretty simple. But it may be because I usually like to main Starly. 
uh, in my whenever I play Diamond and Pearl. Um, and basically by this point, Star Star Raptor or even Star A, if you have it, is pretty strong to do this. If you have Star Raptor, uh, Star Raptor can actually solo the entire gym leader because you have close combat. Because the next Pokemon, her Ace Monster, is Lucario. It's a Fighting Steel type. Um, so flying is actually neutral, but it's weak to fighting. So if you do close combat, that's more than enough. See, and that that barely felt like a gym leader battle. Maylene's always been one of the easier gym leaders uh, for me. I don't know why, but she just has You're much too strong. Oh wow, thank you. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. Learn a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Whoa. You received a Cobble Badge from Maylene. Oh, that's awesome. I should explain about that badge. If you have that official Pokemon League badge, you can use the Hit and Move Fly from your Pokech. Oh, and please take this as well. You obtain the stickers that Maylene uses. Oh, wow. TM60's Drain Punch. Yeah, that's a... Uh... We can move there, you heal half the damage you do with that Drain Punch. Pretty cool. Oh, what the hell? Can you help me? I dropped my Pokédex by accident. Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. I really need your help. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. Uh... Okay. Let's beat up some Team Galactic people. Definitely. I guess I'll just do it right now. I was gonna actually end the video here, but I'll just do it right now. I think it's all good. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, I have to talk to Dawn. Yes, yes. What if I say no? I have to be a real dick, you know? Oh my god. Here we go. Which do we have? Two and two. Okay, four Pokemon total. I mean, Dawn should be, you know, a pretty decent partner, maybe? Hopefully. I don't know. We have a Clefairy. Intimidate. That's right, lower those attack stats. Okay, Staraptor is a perfect typing for this. We are going to go and do a plug on the Dust Tox. What level are these? 25? Is that what I saw? Yeah, that's definitely not intimidating at all. Get it? Intimidating? Because I just... Okay, shut up. Shut up. And with that, Staraptor gains another level up. Air Cutter. That's actually a special attack, so Intimidate didn't really do anything. Ooh, you put it to sleep. Nice. Very nice. Okay, who's next? Krulligan. Alright, well, I'm going to just, uh... I'm gonna plug the Krulligan, sure. Disarming voice. Hmm. Well, at this point I can just uh, take on all these one turn at a time here. And by all these I just mean two. It's just a beautiful fly and probably what, a glammy owl or something maybe? Life do. I actually don't know what life do does. What the hell does that do? Oh, is that the whole like selfie? Oh, that's right, it heals both, yes. But I don't know how much, like how much health. Oh, it was a stunky. Damn it, I was close with my guess. Okay, pluck again. Staraptor just one shot at everybody. Staraptor's way too OP. I'm gonna have to use somebody else now so I don't make this boring, you know? <laughs> god. But so is Magneton, and now so is Torterra. Golik has good moves. Oh my god, well everybody's gonna one shot everybody now. My team is my team is stacked, except Ponyta. I guess I'll put Ponyta in the front again or something. Oh wait, but I'm facing a water gym next. That's not gonna work out for Ponyta. I gotta use Magneton. Okay, well. Christ Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place. I don't know. Try to thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex. I don't wanna think about it. Pistoria City? I mean I've already been there. I'll beat you to it, because I can just fly there. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna end the video here, so before I end this video, 
Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.